So good afternoon. This is now the conclusion of the timing chain tension up. And we got them all in there. And I get the bolt thing and I'm gonna cut the heads off. And I'm gonna use them as studs. Well, the engine is hot right now. Oh my dear. So you can see it. Right there. Oops. That's the Mercedes Benz pump. You can see the engine. I have the car in here right now in B. Air conditioning running. And this is how we're idling. Uh, we're right around 500, 550 in this because that meter is a little bit slow. And you can see that the fan is on, AC is off right now. But it kicks in and out. The temperature now is right at 100 degrees since we cleaned everything out. And the speedometer shows a 650, 600. So we're right there where we're supposed to be. And you can see the economy gauge, even with the air conditioner on. And that low RPM is all the way back to normal. Uh, that's basically it. So the timing chain. Now we're going to take a look. Timing chain, timing chain guides, and the uh, clearances on all of this stuff. This is the normal operating here to about 110 between 80 to 110. They have a version with two electric fans for hot countries. This car doesn't have it, so you have some more fluctuation in it. And let me just show you now in the back the part. So besides of having two gaskets in there, this here and the second gasket, I got the second gasket off with MEK. It came off real easy. I didn't even have to scrape it. And the person who put this together, these two bolts are 516-20. And they actually need to be M8- uh, or my, by 1.25. Normally 30 millimeter length. And I put 50 millimeter in there because it was easier to get the uh, tensioner straight in there with the gasket aligned. And I used red lock to lock them in like I said is I'm going to cut the heads off and then I can just turn the nuts out and slide the whole thing out that basically concludes the repair of the chain tensioner okay you have a great afternoon